Hey guys, 22 Plinkster here. I am with Bill, and Bill works here at CCI and Spear. He is the director of operation, and he has invited me to take a tour of the factory to check and see how not only center fire ammunition is made, but my favorite rim fire. Let's tell me a little bit about the plant. Uh, the plant has been here since 1951, so you're actually here on our 65th birthday and we're super excited to introduce you to the greatest team in the industry. Awesome, so let's get inside and let's see how 22 long rifle ammunition is made. Let's do it. All right, Bill, this is the first thing on the scene here at CCI, how the rimfire ammunition is made. And first, let me apologize, it is very loud in here. I know the audio is not gonna be that great, but what do we have here? So this is where all CCI ammunition starts. We start by making a cup. Uh, we get brass strip in from a supplier uh, we run it through one of our cuppers here uh, and produce a cup out of this material. Uh, the webbing from this all goes back uh, to be recycled and, and become strip again for us. Uh, so it goes through one of these cuppers. Uh, it's a blanking process and then we push it through a die uh, to form a cup. And that's the first step in making CCI ammunition. All right, let's go see the second step. All right. All right, so after those cups go through the cupping process, uh, that part has a ton of residual stress in it from the cold forming process. Uh, it needs to go through an anneal process, uh, which is what you see right here behind me. So we anneal these before they go on to the next process uh, to be able to form it further. All right, after the wash process, uh, we have the drying operation, which starts with the shaker table. Uh, the shaker table helps bounce the excess water out of the uh, case itself or the part itself and then it progressively goes up and into the dryer uh, through a heated dry and on to the next process. All right, so now your cup has been formed in our cupping process. It's gone through an anneal, a wash, and a dry, and it comes on to the drawing process or the pinch trim process, we call it. So you're basically taking that cup and forming it into the diameter you need to make 22 ammunition. And that ring scrap uh, is why we call it a pinch trim process. It pinches off that material uh, due to the interference of the uh, material with the cup and the draw process and uh, forms that case exactly to the right length. All right, after leaving the drawing process or the pinch trim process, uh, that part's going to go back through a wash uh, and a dry process and come back to one of our headers. Uh, our headers are basically taking that part uh, putting our head on it uh, and creating the perfect cavity to accept our priming mix uh, to ignite the cartridge. All right, now you've seen how we make the very distinguished and well-known CCI case. Uh, very well-known in the industry. Uh, we're going to show you a walk through the entire process here of how that is loaded into CCI ammunition. Uh, so these headed cases come back into this process. Uh, we're filling plates. Uh, these plates travel through the entire line uh, to become loaded ammunition. From here they walk over, uh, we size the mouth a little bit, and then they're gonna walk into the uh, charge cell to be charged with priming mix. All right, the next stage in the process is what we call charging. So we take those cases that have now been put in plates, we're charging that with our priming mix. Uh, it's a very uh, accurate process. The plate thickness is very key to the process to determine um, the exact pellet weight that goes into that case. We charge that out, uh, knock that pellet out into the case with a knockout bar and it travels out to the priming operation where we spin that mix into the into the case head. All right, that priming mix pellet needs to be distributed out into the cavity of that case evenly. Uh, and this is what we call our spinning operation or our spinning bank. Uh, and you've got a piece of tooling that comes down out and distributes that pellet out into the rim of that case very evenly. From there, it's gonna travel around uh, back to that uh, case fill operator. Uh, they're going to take a quick look at that pellet to make sure that they all look uh, very evenly distributed uh, and ready to go on to the drying process. Now your plate of prime cases has been through the dryer, uh, dries all the moisture out of that priming mix and it's ready for propellant charging. Uh, we charge all of our propellant in a cell uh, to keep uh, uh, it safe if in the event of uh, any type of event that would happen. Uh, and so we can't open this for you to view while we're running. 
uh, but this is where all the propellant gets charged into the plates. All right, we got two different things happening here. Uh, we're filling bullet plates, uh, and you got a charged case uh, with propellant in it coming out underneath here, and we're going to mate up the bullet plates with the charged case plates so we can move on to bullet seating uh, and get closer to a finished cartridge. All right, now we've moved on to bullet seating. Uh, we use a little press here to seat the bullet down into the case, and then it moves up the elevator to go on to our crimping process. All right, now we've got a seated bullet, uh, which makes a loaded cartridge. The only thing left to do uh, is to crimp that case into the bullet and put the cantaloupe or lube neural onto the bullet, and then it's ready to go to our wax and pack process. All right, now we're gonna go on to wax and final packaging. Uh, we put these into one of our standard trays that comes in most CCI ammunition. Uh, keeps the car cartridges all separated from themselves. Uh, we're orienting those into these. Uh, continue on to our uh, hot wax process. Uh, CCI very well known for its wax process. Uh, and then on to final pack out on the other end of the wax belt. All right, our finished wax cartridge is coming out into final pack. We're making 50 pack paper standard velocity today. Uh, so we get two boxes out of each. Uh, wax tray that comes out. Uh, we put a box on each end of that, uh, snap it in half, run it through the end flap closer uh, into bricks and then into a final shipper and onto a pallet. We make our own bullets here at CCI. Uh, it starts with the raw lead that comes in uh, from an external supplier uh, you see right here in front of me and behind me. Uh, and the lead that you see staged right here in front of us uh, will get consumed today. Uh, and it goes through one of the uh, two melt pots that you see there behind me. All right, through the melt process of that raw lead, uh, we remove any uh, contaminants or debris that comes in with the raw lead off of that process and we cast them into these 300 pound six inch billets uh, which will now be made into wire uh, to further the process of the bullet core. All right, those six inch billets are gonna drop into the hydraulic ram on one of our extruders and draw that wire, extrude that wire up and out uh, and over into two wires. And we got a slug cutter right here, uh, cutting those into slugs that can be lubricated and made into rimfire cores. All right, so those cores that you saw coming off of the lead press are gonna move on and get lubricated um, and then run one through one of our core headers here to become swedged into a 22 bullet core. Uh, that looks like this. These will continue up uh, to be either black lead or a plated bullet, which we'll go to next. We also have a black lead bullet go ahead, Zach. Um, that we apply in a mixing process just like this uh, and apply black lead. That's typically for standard velocity products. All right, so that lead core that you just saw being produced comes up here to our plating facility. It's gonna go into one of our plating barrels and a plating bath uh, to get the copper jacket put onto that lead core. Uh, we copper plate many of our products, including Stinger, Long Rifle Hollow Point, and Long Rifle High Velocity. Bill, thank you for showing me how 22 ammunition made. It, this has actually been a dream of mine for like close to 20 years. Uh, I never knew how much work that it took to make this stuff. 
and you know what you see in the video is just a small part of really what's going on because there's no way that you can capture everything that's going on behind the scenes and you know you guys you know I've, I've met the employees here these people are top-notch these are really good people and uh, you build an amazing product and it's very easy to shoot your product so uh, is there anything else that you would like to say before we sign off of this video no I, i'm glad you got to exchange with our employees as i said in the beginning greatest employees in the industry hopefully we proved that to you and we certainly enjoyed having you on site come back anytime well hey i'm going to take you up on that guys thank you very much for watching until next time y'all be safe and keep blinking all right so i came up here at cci for a tour and the employees decided to bury me in ammo but I'm not complaining.